Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Burger Designs. This week on my blog, I'm featuring the Lighthouse Point Bundle, and I've got several projects for you if you need some ideas. Um, today's project is a 3D, and it actually holds a hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works. Whoops, it's falling out, there we go. And I've got a little magnet to hold it closed. You can see from the side there. Um, these are sea salt and blue skies. Uh, Bath & Body Works always has a bunch of fun ocean themed hand sanitizers. So really any of them will work. All right, let's make our holder. I am using Pacific Point. I chose Pacific Point cardstock because it matched the color of our um, hand sanitizer. Now, if you click the link here on YouTube to go back to my blog, you'll find a free PDF that looks like this. And the measurements for this piece are right down here. This piece is two and a half by 11 and you're gonna score it at half an inch one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, six and three fourths, and seven and three fourths. All right, now it's just really kind of folds up into itself, kind of folds over, over, over until it makes kind of this box size shape. So take your bone folder and burnish all those lines going the same direction. All right, and down here, we're gonna take this and it's gonna fold up like that. See that into a box. But we've gotta make an opening here. Um, so it's the second, right after the half inch section, it's that section right there. And I tried to look through my dies and punches to find one that would fit perfectly. And I don't have one that's recent. If you have uh, scalloped oval dies, the smallest scallop oval die works well, but those are retired. I don't have them anymore. So I found this new best label punch. And let me show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna punch it four times. So one, two, and then you wanna come up to the line here and do three, four. Now it's not the most beautiful hole. See that? You can straighten it out and get rid of those little those little um, knobs if you want, but it works. But look through your dies and your punches and see what else you have that might work. Now I'm gonna take this edge and fold it up and around and make, try to get that nice and square like that and push that in. All right, and then this part just folds over like that. And so we wanna get, I've got these button magnets that I get from Amazon and they are um, linked on my blog. So make sure if you want these, hop over and grab that link. They're very inexpensive. So I'm gonna actually take two glue dots on each side. I have found that two stacked glue dots work the best with these magnets. All right, so stick those right there. And I'm just gonna stick that right on there, press that in, get two more, and stick that right there. Okay, we'll put that in. And then take this and line it up, get it nice and square and push down and then there you go and you have it it'll snap shut okay now let's do our stamping we're going to use a stamparatus for this i just have found that with two-step stamping it's a whole lot easier to use your stamparatus and we're going to do some masking here too with this stamp i'm going to take my um, stripes first all right and we're going to do this the lighthouse stripes and we're gonna stamp those in real red. Okay, like that. Now, you can take your chamois, wipe that off. And we're gonna switch it out for this one. Now, we're not gonna stamp the whole body of this. We're just gonna do that top part. So grab, so see how I've lined it up, that line right there specifically. Let me see if I've got that straight. Yep, it looks straight. All right, I'm gonna lay that down, pick that up. Don't want your cardstock to move, so make sure it doesn't move. And then I'm gonna take just a piece of post-it tape 
and mask off. We'll do it like, well, let's do it like that. Because really we just want that top part right there. And we're gonna stamp that in Pacific Point. Let me see, yeah, Pacific Point. All right, just the top part. And now we'll stamp that right there at the top. Red, white, and blue lighthouse, isn't that cute? All right, let's stamp the piece that goes on the front. I've got a little piece of basic white that is a little bit smaller than the front of our holder. Um, let's start with the water. And I'm gonna stamp this in, well, nope, not Tahitian Thai, that's for the sky. We're gonna do the ocean, the water, in Pacific Point. I'm gonna do it right there in the middle. And then we're gonna do the sky in Tahitian Tide. I'm gonna stamp up stamp off a little bit to make it lighter whoops we'll stamp that right there okay and then we've got the sand which is crumb cake i'm going to stamp off and i'm going to stamp that right there light let's see that didn't stamp so well let's try another layer there we go that's perfect and then i'm going to add the grass in crumb cake as well all right Let's layer everything up and we will be done. These would make great party favors, I think. Or even just a thinking of you, a little treat for a friend at work. A hand sanitizer is always appreciated, I think. All right, dimensionals, we'll put that there. And then we'll take dimensionals and put on, whoops, I did it the wrong side. This end is gonna, this side is gonna be uh, flat against that. So we wanna put a dimensional on the other side, like that. Okay, now I've got a Daffodil Delight Heart. Um, you know what, we need a dimensional for that too. We're gonna use a mini dimensional if I have them. Oh, let's try a big one. And we'll put that right there. All right, now let's bring over our holder and we'll take our stamp and seal and put that right there. And last but not least, we're gonna add a bow, a linen thread bow. And then there you have it. I've got ink all over my hands. <laughs> Whenever I use a stamparatus, I always get messy. All right, glue dot, and, and voila, we are done. Let's try that right there. Maybe I like that better right there. Yeah, I do like that. All right, there you have it, you guys. A fun little party favor, summer treat. Make sure you hop back to my blog. I've got several other projects using the Lighthouse Point Bundle. Um, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you enjoyed this project. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.